All right, it's time to make the 270 even more better-er than we did last time. So hopefully it will be ready to go home very soon in the future. So here we go. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man, and we're continuing our progress on this 270 gas that belongs to my cousin, the Oliver 770 Farm Boy. And I got some more goodies that we're going to put on, namely its own battery, because I am tired of lugging my battery around. And from the situation I assessed over there, it looked like he was using one battery between multiple pieces of equipment and we're just not having that so it's getting a battery so i can bolt that box in and whatever he mentioned that he had the battery box i don't know why he didn't send it over here but he's getting this one because i would almost bet that the other one is rotted out so we might as well just replace it and if it's not he can keep it as a spare but this is happening because i am not carting batteries back and forth so that's what we're gonna do now, I use these little jobbies, which seem to be pretty uh, good and reliable for the most part. I've had a couple of them fail where I broke off a leg, but uh, basically, you put this on your ground, and then you can just quick attach and make it not connected anymore, which I do on all my stuff because... I find that if you do that, when you come back to it, you probably still have a battery that's charged up. Seems like if you got a lot of stuff and it sits, the battery finds its way to be dead. So, I am fixing this up as if it were my own. I guess that way, if he can't pay for it, <laughs> it will become my own. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And this is just the combination of battery I've used in this for years. It fits. Uh, it's powerful enough to start it, but it also fits in this battery box good and lets you have clearance to be able to do this trick with the uh, cutout thing. So that's why. It's also a more reasonably priced battery than some of the others. I think it's uh, just over a hundred bucks. So that's handy. Yep. Okay. Well, we're good now. The good news is Good news is we can only be so stupid before our body ceases to function and one of the ways is tightening this up with the ground cable connected there we go okay crisis averted friends it all makes sense now i'll put this back I'll tighten this up we should be good to go there that's more better does it work absolutely what a sweetheart okay so we're good there now he can shut off his battery in just a few seconds and that's what i like to do so that's good now we're going pipe plugging and we're going to try to get that out of there and that other one for your indicator that's no longer existent. That went surprisingly easier than I thought it would. I got a whole bag of projects here. There's all kinds of stuff. And 
I don't have the right one because I bet it's 7 sixteenths. Yep. I bet that one's 7 sixteenths, so I might as well go get that. All right. Soft, malleable brass. We will manhandle it in there. Sure. This is the thing that's left over when you break off the air cleaner restriction indicator, as I often find. And people never ever take it out. And guess what? It's open to the atmosphere. That one's not anymore because it sucks so much dirt in there. But if that thing breaks off, don't lose sleep over it, but put a plug in this hole so it's not sucking dirt in there. You know, this was a dollar ninety nine for a brass plug, and it's going to save you a potential engine rebuild. So, there. Well, we're coming along, friends. Now, our next affair would be valve cover glueage. I did manage to find some 3 8 fine threaded nuts. Although now it looks like I'm going to be cleaning up his... I don't know. They're awfully rusty now for some unapparent reason that it didn't mean to me. Or is this not the right size? Did I grab the wrong size? Fits that one. Okay, well, we'll have to figure that out. It might just be that it got rusty. And it might be that we ruined the tip. I don't know. Sometimes you... Sometimes you crush the tip. Gotta be gentle. It had those stupid lock nut things on and I didn't like that, so... Nope, that'll go. Probably would be a good idea to run the threader machine down over that sucker right there but yeah I also got some copper washers which are a more better choice for sealing I'd also like to get this thing somewhere where I'm not directly in the sunlight but I don't know if that's possible See if I can make that happen. Ah. Well, you know what I did? I guess I didn't turn the fuel on. You think it's got enough gas to get us around the corner? Probably not. I didn't turn the gas on. Dum dum. And I'm not going to be able to get in the shade anyway, so what the heck is the difference? I just got more room to walk around it here, I guess. I got to go find my weather strip adhesive, and then we'll be ready to tackle this project. I think whilst I, or before I start, I'm going to run this thread tap over this. Uh, I'm sure I got the right one. Pretty sure I do. We'll pound it into submission and it'll become something. Right? I'm pretty sure that's the right one. Isn't it? Maybe? Come on. I'm just having trouble getting it started on the... Which is the same trouble I had with that nut a minute ago. 
Now, let's see, I gotta remember how this goes. The flat side goes there. Oh, there. there. Oh, sadness. I, <laughs> that ain't gonna work because we're gonna hit the other two. I'm gonna have to turn it. I. So sad. So, so sad. I don't have any way to... <sighs> Gotta do it like this. Quarter turn at a time. This is not ideal way to use this, but <laughs> that side with the set screw only fits in one spot, so if it doesn't land the right way you got to kind of get creative get enough of them It'll grab. the issue on this one which you can't see and I see it is that it looks like on the front side the threads got drug flat a little bit so I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel here I'm just gonna Try to make it more better, or more better enough, I guess you would say. Hmm. Yeah, all right, now that that trivial task is done, let's get all this stuff back off of here and the coil bracket because we had to attach it to the valve cover in order that it was not swinging in our way all the time. I've got a Tweedledee on my phone. That was actually the Oliver 770 farm boy. He said he's got his dad going to get us some hydraulic oil, so that's good. Because we need it. We need it. Oh, I just talked about that and then I didn't do it, but I need to take that coal off. Gently set this down. Gently. And get me out of there. It's actually pretty clean. I'll move you over in a minute so you can see. I think he cleaned up the head side. He just didn't get the the valve cover side. I'm <clears throat> I'm going to wipe it clean here. <clears throat> but yes, I think everything here is, on this end, is going to be ready to go. No scraping or sadness required on this side for a change. All right, now here, geez, he didn't clean that very good at all, and we've been running it like that. It's got dirt in it. We're gonna have to do a lot more here, aggressively. There's grooves in there that kind of hold some of your gasket sealer. And that dirt, that's gotta come out of there. That's bothering the heck out of me. I'm gonna go clean this up more better and then I'll bring you back. Okay, that is much more better, Herb. 
probably should put you up where you could actually see most of what's happening here. We've got this brand new gasket. And I want to make sure that it's going to fit. There's no reason why it shouldn't fit. But it would just be a good idea to test fit it. Maybe flip it. See if it fits better this way than the other way. I actually think it might. Just from the way the thing's been sitting. No, maybe not. Hold it. Well, this gasket I ain't the happiest with. No, I don't like that way. Let's see if it's better this way. That's more better. -er. It is slightly different on the ends. You can't really necessarily see it when you just look at it. Uh, but when you lay it out and try it, you can you can see that it fits better one way than the other. And this is going to be one of the tricky ones. There's no lit, lip to connect our clothespins to. So we're probably just going to have to stick it down and then flip it, put it down on there and hope that we got her. Kind of like we did with that 550. If they got a little lip on the edge, that's when the close bin trick really works good. That. Jeez. All right. Now for sadness. Now the trick here is we don't want to get, I say as I immediately do the opposite of what I was just about to say, but we don't want to get it on the wrong side, like the this adhesive. Because the point of this is that you glue one side so that if you have to take this valve cover off again, as you would when you service things sometimes that you're going to be able to reuse your gasket but see right now we're like skating on ice it's better if you have like a metal table and you could just flip this upside down and let it dry first Right there, I'm not happy with. I'm fairly happy with this. That's pretty good. Do you think I can flip it on there without touching anything? All right, we got that sitting on there. Uh, I really don't like to tighten them down immediately. I'd like it to set up a little. However, I'm thinking that his cast iron cover is slightly warped from years of heat. So I'm thinking a slight amount of pressure on there would be appropriate. So I'm gonna put the nuts on and turn it down just enough 
to make sure it's got a little bit of pressure pushing against that gasket on both sides. This side looks fine. That other side, though, I question. Uh, oh, I don't want those. I want the copper ones. I, I just... What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to do the best I can. The best of both worlds, I guess you'd say. So... Normally I put a slight bit of Permatex on those too. I'll probably come back and do that later when we when we put this down for keeps. Again, I hate these coarse threads. That just does not compute in my brain as to what it should be. That Good thing I brought more of those fine threaded nuts than I needed because I just dropped that one to who knows where. I don't know that it made it all the way to the ground. But that's fine because I brought an extra couple of them with the idea that I would probably drop one into an irretrievable place. So look at how nice it spins on there now. Also, I'm wondering now, is that the, ah well. I do a lot of talking to myself because I'm the only one who will listen to me. Let's go to the other side. So we can see when we get to where what I'm thinking about I just want to give it a little that's about all it takes for now just a little bit of a turn on it if you tighten it too much it's gonna come smushing out and I don't want that I just want even pressure to set this gasket and then we'll probably give them a little more later just so that it stays tight. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. It's got her sealed up for now. So, can hang our coil on. Having issues getting, getting you stuck down there. We can probably put this down for real. All right, well, that's a pretty good amount of progress on our 270 project today. We still need to do a few more little things here and there, but a uh, carburetor rebuild probably should happen. I don't know though, it runs pretty good. It just doesn't always want to shut off. And then, uh, we need to come back and tighten those. We need to put a fuel gauge in it because that ain't no good. So we'll figure that situation out. There's this wire that's supposed to go to there. Uh, but we'll get that wired up. I bet the sending unit's bad. About a 99% chance of that. Yeah, so once we get all that stuff done, he should be closer to, or we should be closer to trying it out because we're going to try it out before it leaves doing something just to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. I may take the wiring harness loose and refeed it because it's still not the way it should be and it's bothering me. It needs to be against the block all the way and run through here. So I need to take both legs loose and pull that through. This should actually be like in there hanging and this leg go through that way so 
you know, instead of taking the back end loose, I'll just pull it all through the front and then go where we need to go. But that's just a more particular type thing that wouldn't have to be done. But anyway, yeah, 270, more progress made, slightly more better. As always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up. Leave a comment and tell me how dumb you think I am. Or if by some slim chance you liked it, say that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.